Hi there! What comes to mind when you hear the word iron? You may have seen it in some drinks or in the battery packs of your gadgets and devices. In this video, we will be discussing about ions, so let's get started! Ions are atoms that carry either a positive or a negative charge. These charges are a result of the atom losing or gaining electrons. But how do atoms lose or gain electrons? We know that in an atom, electrons orbit around a nucleus. The valence electrons are the electrons found in the outermost shell of an atom. These are the electrons that are lost or gained in the process of forming ions. The elements in the periodic table are arranged according to increasing atomic number. The rows are called periods, and the columns are called groups, which is numbered 1 and 2 respectively. Group number in the periodic table gives us the number of valence electrons in its outermost energy shell. For example, carbon, which belongs to group 4A, has 4 valence electrons. Electronegativity is the ability of an atom to attract electrons. The higher the electronegativity value of an atom, the higher is its ability to attract electrons. In period 2 of the periodic table, fluorine is located at the rightmost part of the row. Hence, fluorine has the highest electronegativity value and it is the atom that is most likely to attract electrons. Thus, it has the highest tendency to gain electrons and become negatively charged. Generally, nonmetals are the ones that tend to gain electrons and become negatively charged ions. They are called anions. When atoms gain electrons in its outermost shell, the number of their negatively charged electrons exceed those of the positively charged protons. Thus, they carry a negative charge. Ionization energy is the energy required to pull or remove electrons from an atom. This energy breaks the attraction between the nucleus and the valence electrons. The lower the ionization energy value of an atom, the easier it is to remove an electron from that atom. In period 2 of the periodic table, Lithium is located at the leftmost part of the row and is the element having the lowest ionization energy. Thus, it has the highest tendency to lose electrons and become positively charged. Generally, metals are the ones that tend to lose electrons and become positively charged ions. They are called cations. Atoms that lose an electron in its outermost shell carry a positive charge because by losing electrons, the number of positively charged protons exceed those of the negatively charged electrons. Electron affinity is the energy that an atom releases when it accepts an electron. It is therefore a measure of the tendency of an atom to attract an electron. Atoms are electrically neutral despite them having charged subatomic particles, like the negatively charged electrons and the positively charged protons. Atoms are neutral because the number of negatively charged electrons and positively charged protons are equal. Thus, an atom is stable. Atoms need to lose or gain electrons in order to be stable. They become stable when their outermost shell or valence shell contains 8 electrons, which satisfies the octet rule. So what is the octet rule? The octet rule refers to the tendency of atoms to prefer having 8 electrons in the valence shell. When atoms have fewer than 8 electrons, they tend to react and form more stable compounds. Remember our example on fluorine when we discussed about anions? We learned earlier that fluorine has the highest electronegativity value in that period, 
and it is the atom that is most likely to attract electrons. Why not neon? Because neon is a noble gas. Noble gas elements are stable elements. They already have eight valence electrons. They are called noble because they don't have to lose or gain electrons in order to satisfy the octet rule. To illustrate the atoms from their neutral state to their ionized state, we make use of the Bohr model of an atom. Here is fluorine in its neutral state. Fluorine has seven valence electrons and thus needs another electron to be stable. In its ionized state, fluorine will be negatively charged due to the addition of another electron. In this state, fluorine is stable. It has followed the octet rule. The size of the anion, fluorine, increased due to the repulsion among valence electrons. Here is lithium in its neutral state. It has one valence electron. To be stable, lithium needs to lose its valence electron and be positively charged. The size of the cation, which is lithium, decreases due to the reduction of valence electrons in its shell. Now let's wrap things up. Ions are atoms that lose or gain electrons. Anions are negatively charged ions because they have more electrons than protons. Cations are positively charged ions because they have more protons than electrons. Valence electrons are electrons in the outermost energy shell of an atom. These electrons are directly involved in any chemical activity. The octet rule refers to the tendency of atoms to prefer having eight electrons in the valence shell. That's all for now. We will be discussing about how the structure of the carbon atom affects the type of bonds it forms in our next video, so stay tuned. See you on our next video, and don't forget to keep your minds busy! If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon for more videos like this.